guys good morning and welcome to vlogmas day 11 thank you so much for returning back to vlogmas um i was just up with all my lights on okay <laughs> i was up with all my lights on because i honestly thought that i was about to be robbed like seriously i hear something crinkling fumbling at the door and um something was telling me to look out my window and i'm gonna show y'all that clip in just a minute you guys something was telling me to look out my window i think that is my daughter's package right there on the ground oh my god This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm definitely gonna be in contact with the company and whatever worker delivered this package. Look at this, just sitting here on the ground. Anybody could possibly take it. Y'all, this is so crazy. Goodness gracious, and my name is on the package. That is crazy. Left a whole coat outside because you did not want to page my apartment for whatever reason talk about crazy i was waiting on the kiddos packages to arrive okay so i decided to go ahead and order all of the kids coats for christmas so all of the kids are getting coats for christmas and i can't say what else they're receiving because julian watches the channel we all like to sit down and watch the channel on our tv over here um as a family and um just you know enjoy our videos together so i won't say what else santa claus is bringing or mrs claus is bringing but the kids do all have coats and um julian and trey's coat is arriving either on the 16th or the 17th and zara coat just came today but the thing is you guys they left their coat out below my apartment complex they did not come up here and knock on my door or ring my doorbell but i did hear a like movement towards my door like i mentioned um but i'm like that is just so crazy to leave somebody's package like outside in the opening where cars are coming and going anybody can like snatch the package and be gone with it so thankfully when i looked at the window just going off my own like instinct um i saw the package literally downstairs and i'm like that's the package that I was waiting on. Let me go get the package because I got the alert to my phone from Target. Um, all of the kids' coats were ordered from Target. So, yeah, um, I'm getting ready to make sure that it is the right coat. And then, um, you know, I had already sprayed the package down. That's why I'm holding my disinfectant spray. <laughs> but I was up. I'm like, what the hell is that noise? I'm thinking we being robbed. I didn't put Zara over here on the sofa, honey. She probably like, Mom, put me back in my bed. And she is sleeping so peacefully, like nothing ever happened. Look at her, she knocked out. <laughs> and you all say she look exactly like my oldest son, Julian. I'm gonna have to put her picture, my picture, Julian and Trey, all of our infant baby pictures together. And then you all will see how all of us look exactly alike, but she's sleeping so good. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get ready to um, fix me a little breakfast. I'm actually gonna share with you all a little bit of my postpartum um, little container that I've been utilizing since I've been home um, from giving birth this past month and a half. And a little, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Cause a lot of y'all said I was country and that's okay, I live in the South. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get ready to show you a little tip and trick for my breastfeeding mamas to help you with sensitive nipples, okay? Because the way these babies be chomping down on their breasts, child, too much, okay? Too much. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put my um, disinfectant spray up and I'm getting ready to um, share that with you guys and turn off my lights before my BLB sky high. All right. And I also got to put baby girl back in her bed before somebody be on here. Child abuse! Don't come for me or my kids, okay? Don't. Here's my postpartum basket for all of my moms out there who are pregnant or postpartum or breastfeeding. Um, you definitely want to get yourself some sort of bucket or basket or container where you can keep all of your uh, essentials for yourself and baby. It makes 
everything is super convenient um and this bucket that you see here is from dollar tree one dollar simple plain to the point <laughs> um and all the items that i'm getting ready to go over is what i'm utilizing right now i actually use these items and if anything should change um i'll definitely do a updated postpartum basket for you guys so you can see what i'm using um if anything should change so the basket here the bucket is from one it's one dollar from dollar tree and everything else is from my hospital so the first thing i have in here is my witch hazel spray and you definitely want some of this i was very fortunate to get it from my hospital um i had plans to order me some but they gave this to me for free and um so don't worry if you're not able to get certain items um the hospital more than likely and most likely will have everything that you need so be sure to take everything home girl <laughs> but i have the wish hazel spray which is no touch easy application from head to toe um this is for oily irritated red damaged blemished and inflamed skin so if you happen to get first or third second degree burn and you have to get those stitches that dissolve this stuff here is what you need it works wonders thankfully i had a natural birth i didn't have to get no stitches but i still use this in that um area down below the vajayj area um because it did provide more comfort because i was very tender from pushing out a baby you know um moving on i have the water bottle that they gave me which is also good for um keeping the vagina area clean and um, as soon as you have a baby, you go, well, you bleed from, you know, giving birth, but then you go on a regular menstrual period. So that's a long time to, um, to bleed. And so you definitely want to get yourself a water bottle. Now they gave me this one at the hospital, but if you don't, um, if you don't find one on your own, just know you'll get one from the hospital and you'll probably find something like this, like at a local beauty supply store or Dollar Tree, any type of water bottle that you want to get. Um, moving on, here is my um, Benzocaine spray, and it's so good. Maximum strength. Again, something to spray in the area if you're super tender, got stitches. This here was for a abscess that I had. Um, it's some iodine liquid. It doesn't expire until 2023, so I keep it in there if I should get a boil or abscess again. When I got home, the boil and abscess was completely gone. Hallelujah, thank God. But I have that if anything was to reoccur um right here is my nipple cream and this stuff works so good it's natural it's safe for baby it works so good i put that around my nipples before and after breastfeeding when i'm getting out of the bathtub in the shower right here are breast pads they come two in a pack so i have a nice you know amount of those over here is just one large pad and I do have some other pads back there, but this is the one that I received from the hospital. I only have one of those left. And then I have my waist band here that goes around my waist to hold everything in place. Um, over here, two heating packs for my stomach if I'm ever cramping, which I, I have been experiencing cramps still. Um, and we'll do, you know, a talk through of how I'm recovering and all that I got y'all, no worries. Uh, we're just focusing on Vlogmas right now, so I just want to include some things that um, have been going on with me since we haven't been talking about anything um, baby related or pregnancy related because that's how my channel started off me sharing my pregnancy and then back here i think i have one or two um one or two pairs of these mesh underwear and so i've been using the ones they gave me and i've been holding off on using my own mesh panties which is these are the ones that i have the always discreet panties and they are so good they are much better than the ones from the hospital. But now use the ones they give you from the hospital because, again, all of that is very uh, help, helpful. So, yeah. Um, but here's my nursing bra. Um, it snaps from one end to the next there. So, basically what I like to do to help out with my sensitive nipples is I have my regular um, breast pad. And it has... A little strip you can peel off so i peel that off and then i paste i say paste lord like this a project let's paste it okay but anyway um i put it there and then i take my cotton ones that i can wash 
Um, I believe I got these from Family Dollar. So I don't know if you all have a Family Dollar where you reside, but that's where I got these uh, washable nursing pads from. And I got those from Family Dollar as well. But anyway, I laid the washable ones. So these are the ones that you can discard, but these are the ones that are washable. Um, Cause I remember when I first got home, I just laid it on there like that girl. I was soaking all through, wet as ever. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> y'all, it's been six years. Okay, I'm new to this. Thirty two with a newborn. Okay, but anyway, I, I I put this on here. It was leaking through. I was like, that's definitely not gonna work. And then I was wearing it like this, and this was itchy and irritating my nipples so i like to put that on there for extra security and then put this on top of there so that my nipple isn't itching from this fabric as well and it's like double padding and i love it so that's just a little you know tip and trick for my mothers out there that's slanging that booby for their kid okay all right getting ready to see what our coat looks like you all kind of got a glimpse of it from um from the uh... oh, damn, did she wake up? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, love. You already got a glimpse of what her um coat possibly looks like from the screenshot that I had up on the screen. And I'm about to physically open it to make sure that it is what it's supposed to be. Oh, it is so pretty. Yay. Oh, goodness. It's even prettier in person than it is online. Love it. Oh. Okay, so the coat looks great. All right. And y'all have to, excuse me, you all will see it in a GIF video. <laughs> Try not to give away too much because, like I said, the kiddos watch the channel. Um, yeah, baby girl, she's still sleeping, so I'm about to get ready to go, um, give me some coffee or something. Um, you all let me know if you like iced coffee. I love iced coffee. I like my coffee warm, but I think I prefer, prefer iced coffee over hot coffee. Um, you all let me know which one you prefer, hot or cold. I love caramel coffee. This is the Dunkin' iced coffee, and it's really good. So I just put some in my mug with some ice, and I got my H2O as well. Haven't decided what I wanted for breakfast. Still trying to come down off of this high of my package being left out and feeling like somebody was at my door. So I'm just going to sip on me a little coffee, watch a little television. In a minute, I'm going to get ready for a Zoom call. And then I need to get ready to get out and finish doing some Christmas shopping. Um, some of the things I am ordering online. Well, most of the things will be ordered online. But there are some things that uh, have to go into the store to physically get. So... I'll be getting dressed here in a little bit. So apparently it's just drop packages off and don't tell nobody nothing. So that was just FedEx just left. And again, I heard scuffling by the door. Didn't ring the doorbell, didn't knock on the door. So I guess that's the company that I need to call about their workers, but thank you. This look like it is the boys coat. So I'm gonna get ready to open up these packages. They came right on time. So excited. So everybody coast is here. So I won a giveaway and that's what this box is. And I can't wait to share with you all what's in this box. Um, so we're gonna hold off on opening this box. I'm so excited that it came and I can't wait to um, see what's all inside um and tell you all who channel i won the giveaway um from i'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh white package because i'm thinking that it's one of the boys coats and i thought the box was a coat as well but it's not it has the um the other youtuber whose giveaway that i won so i will be shouting out that channel and I cannot wait. Okay, so this is Julian's coat. Oh, it looks so nice. Yes, so now I'm just waiting on Trey's coat and um, everybody's coat will be here. So that is so nice. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. If you enjoyed today's vlogmas, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for all your love and support. 
um fedex is doing the most okay so if you are expecting packages you got to do like i do be alert <laughs> um but i'm gonna get ready to get dressed because i just realized i've been wearing a bunny the entire time but at least i'm in the comfort of my own home okay so monique I know you were saying don't be wearing your bum bunny out in public. I think I get a pass because I'm at home. Y'all let me know, y'all women who got a chance to see the little clip of Monique telling women to, you know, um, stop wearing head scarves, bunnets, and head wraps out in public. Tell me below what you all think about that. Do you think that this is a accessory, a necessity? Is it anything that's bad? You know, um, because for whatever reason, apparently the black woman has made the bunny a bad thing from wearing it out in public. To each his own, I mind my business, okay? I don't wear a bunny out in public. Now that's something that I do not do. <laughs> but I will wear my bunny, okay? Whether I'm at home or in the shower or whatever. Um, if I'm vacationing, I bring my bunny with me, but now I ain't gonna wear it out in public. Anyway, I love y'all. Um, yeah, it was just like a real, just, chill day today <laughs> but i'm finally feeling like i said get dressed get out the door and finish um wrapping up this christmas shopping christmas is a week away oh my gosh and then we're rolling into a new year so you all stay blessed and i will see you all in the next one bye